Well, thank you, boys. <coughs> Gather around me. Short interpassing requires to play the ball, to pass the ball with the inside and the outside of the foot. And we use small match situations to improve on these techniques. We play two red players against two blue players. The two red players approach from there, into passing, go for goal and finish with the inside or the outside of the foot. Well, go into your position, the red team will start. Try and inject an element of competition while you practice. Always a match situation, whether two aside or eleven aside. Every movement geared towards scoring goals. Practicing stereotyped exercises in isolation is often ineffective. You learn through playing to win. This is the simplest of game situations. Two attacking players approaching goal without opposition, creating their own pace with short, crisp interpasses. Well done, well done. And the blue team. And you decide when you go for goal. Although this opening exercise may appear somewhat simple, it does allow one's full attention to be focused on the playing task, passing with the outside or inside of the foot, with the two players always adapting to each other. Well, OK, thank you, boys. We get around here. You give me this ball, please. Well, with the next exercise, we are going to introduce the through pass. But before we go into the next exercise, Andy, always lock the ankle when you pass. Lock the ankle. Lock the ankle when you pass. Lock the ankle. And even when you pass with the outside of the foot. When you lock the ankle, when you pass with the outside of the foot. And inside. And now, get into your positions and go for goal with square and two passes. Well, play. You will notice that for these exercises, a central goal has been adopted. This speeds up play and allows for a continuous series of attacks from both teams, giving every boy an opportunity to practice the playing task. The through pass relies on the player without the ball, demanding it, moving ahead of his teammate. Round off the attack with the inside or the outside of the foot. And interchange position, always interchange position. You decide when you go for goal. Remember, you decide where you move and when you pass. Work with your teammate to create space, approach the goal and score. Well, thank you. We gather around me and um, Dean and Philip, will you join us, please? Well, we started with two players, and now one player more will be added for the player in possession to adjust himself to the situation, to the movements of the players without ball. That is very important. So, uh, get into your positions. Slow up. By adding another member to the attacking team, the options open are so much wider. Each player has a greater responsibility to pass intelligently, with the one in possession having to concentrate on his teammate. He then follows his pass, breaking up and confusing the imaginary defence by interchanging positions and giving the final striker the best chance to score. OK, and the red team, come on! Try and make everything, even simple passing movements, a game environment where everyone naturally wants to play with discipline and score goals. You get around me here. Well, now three players were engaged and we add now one in opposition. He will try to disturb the passing, interpassing, and you are free to decide now when you pass and how you will pass, with the inside or with the outside. Well, go on, we start. 
Adding to the playing task, we now have a three against one situation. Three in attack, one defender, and one in goal. Return it. Steps and wits in the attack. The interchanging of positions and patterns of play are still dependent on the quality of the actual passing. How the ball makes contact with the foot and is passed about the pitch. It is vital that the ankle is firm when making contact with the ball. And most important, the toe should always be pointing upwards when passing with the inside of the foot and downwards when passing with the outside. There are very few musts in passing technique, but keeping the ankle locked in the correct foot position are totally necessary whatever your style of play. An interchange position and get it under control. Well done. Another point to watch is the receiving of the incoming ball. Although you may intend passing it off immediately, in most cases it pays to bring the ball under control rather than do a first-time pass. And go, and go, and go, and move, and move, always move. When practicing this exercise, do use the full width and length of your playing area. Hold on, hold on, get around me. Hold on. Now we have three against one. We have now two players who are defending. The attacking team will be supported on each side, on the red and blue side, by one schemer. The schemer's task is to support his three forward players, to influence their method of attack, to feed them with probing balls, to take command. He's usually a player with organizational and leadership qualities who likes to guide the pattern of play and hold his team together. Hold on, hold on for a second and a half. Bobby here to create a killer pass. You pass the ball to him and you flick. Okay, another possibility. May I have a ball? Return it to Nigel. You move that way, move and you pass it the other way. I show you, always a disguised pass. Never give him the possibility to intercept. And come on, I do this pass. A disguised pass. I pull him this way and flick the ball over to him. Well, we try to introduce it. The disguised pass allows the controlling player to keep possession. The long ball speeds up the approaching maneuver and the shot at goal. Always look for the killer pass. The emphasis is now completely on the attacking side to use their advantage well. The schemer should set in motion patterns of attack by quick, effective interpassing while he stays back as a central pivot. He should always be reading the game, feeding, probing, and be ready for any final thrust at goal. Always there with the killer pass and be able to influence the speed of the attack. The schemer pushes his strikers forward and should instigate their final shot at goal. In every coaching session, always try and finish with a game. In this instance, a five-a-side game with the emphasis on short interpassing and interchanging. The players have been asked to provide depth and width, to go for penetration, and to maintain possession of the ball until a goal is scored. Well, come on. Get depth and width. Hold it. Hold up. From there again. You did very well in beating your opponent, 
But now watch. Open your eyes and watch where to pass, okay? You have beaten him and now watch. You are moving. You And there he is moving. Okay, and pass. Well done. Well done. Come on. Recover. Come on, go on. Well done. Hold it, hold it, hold it. That's a very dangerous pass, this one, in front of the goal mouth. Always watch to get a through pass. Never pass the ball in front of your goal mouth. Okay? We start again with the goalkeeper. Well then, come on. Control the ball, control the ball. Now it is your turn to practice short interpassing with the inside or outside of your foot. I would like to remind you, keep your toe pointing downward when using the outside of your foot and pointing upward when passing with the inside of the foot. And finally, do remember, you can't win without scoring. So pass, move, go for goal. Thank you.